Hey, Reggie, you, you obviously talk about the importance of staying ready and how seriously you take that, but just, just how late in the game did you realize tonight that your role is about to get a whole lot, whole lot bigger? Uh, when they announced that I was starting. When was, how soon before tip off was that? Uh, when they do the intros. Okay. What do you think? I mean, obviously, you guys not only lose Kawhi, but you lose Marcus. Uh, how, how is that offense flowing so well? The ball movement, the player movement. How are you guys able to keep that going through three quarters so well? Uh, just playing with selfish. Really try to diagnose what the defense has given us. Um, I think we did a good job early, accepting traps and just getting off the ball. Moving in and then everybody being willing to attack the paint. So they pulled in heavy. I think we were getting in hopping early. Um, unfortunately, the fourth, we just kind of stuck a little more and, you know, just had some, some costly mistakes. Um, didn't get some shots to fall and they found a way to pull away. But I think for the most part, we, we tried to stick with the game plan. We tried to attack their defense and then uh, try to make sure that we were just sharing the ball and, you know, get great shots uh, with many opportunities as possible. Thanks, Reggie. Thanks. Go to Law. Hey, Reggie, uh, as, as good as uh, the offense was, especially considering the circumstances, uh, this was another game where the team just did not get to the line at a high rate. Uh, where, from your perspective, is the team struggling to uh, draw the contact necessary uh, to get to the line at a high rate, especially against a team that uh, has struggled defending without fouling this season? Uh, I think we just have to continue to, you know, stay in attack mode. Where, like I said, get the ball hopping and then uh, look for our opportunity to attack off the attack. And then just, you know, make it more obvious when, when there's not so many bodies in there. And um, attacking one-on-one, you know, you're attacking gaps and guys are trying to step up and it makes it a little more obvious, I think, for the refs that fouls are being called. But, um, you know, we have to continue to stay patient. We have to continue to, like I said, attack the rim. We can't get discouraged just because we haven't been to the line the last few games. Um, we have to make sure that we continue to play our brand of basketball. Thanks. We'll go over to Tomer. Hey, Reggie, it seemed like even though you guys got some decent looks there late in the game, uh, a few of them may have been rushed. Or just, do you feel like maybe you guys just need to uh, – I know, I know PG and Kawhi talked about um, not settling for the first shot um, down the stretch and maybe moving it around a little bit more and getting better shots. Do you feel like that, that's something you guys needed to do tonight, especially? I think it'll be something that we continue to get better at. But, um, you know, as long as we feel like we got the ball in the right guy's hands, they're, they're going to do their best job night in and night out to make the right decisions for us. Um, a lot of times, you know, we, we trust them all the time. And a lot of times they find a way to pull it out for us to make big, tough shots. So that's, a custom, that's the players that we're accustomed to having. Um, they've been doing it for a long time in their career. So, like I said, we trust their, their decision every time. But, um, you know, I think just throughout the season, we're going to continue to get better at finding um, comfortability in which shots that, you know, necessarily we want down the stretch and when there's time to move it and how to attack defenses. But, uh, you know, mostly putting the guy, putting the ball in Kawhi, Paul, and lose hands, uh, we trust them to make the decisions down the stretch for us. Thanks. Thanks. We'll take two more. We'll go to Mason. All right, John. Hey, Reggie, um, you, you touched on it earlier about uh, kind of ball sort of sticking in the fourth quarter. Um, what, what was Boston doing specifically to kind of stop you guys from getting the shots you wanted down the stretch defensively? I think they did a good job of just continuing to use their length. And, you know, guys with foot speed, guys who link, link think to play multiple defensive positions. And, um, I think they did a good job of trying to keep Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown mostly on the ball and in the pick roll situations that they were comfortable switching. And then Comfort also playing one-on-one -on -one defense. So uh, in those cases, we have to still find ways to continue to attack them, whether it be, you know, getting ball screens from other places, whether it's setting double. So we have to watch film, um, figure it out, dissect it. But a lot of teams, unfortunately, have been hurting us right now with the switch. And uh, we've been practicing it. So we're just continuing to get better. Um, we got a break coming up here soon. You know, we're going to do our best to get this win here in Washington in two days, and then, you know, we're going to go back to the drawing board. We're going to celebrate our guys who are going to Atlanta, who made the All-Star game, you know, hats off to Hawaii and Paul, and then after that, we're going to get back to work. Thanks, Mason. Last question, we'll go to Cameron. Hey, Reggie. Um, good game out of you with the season high, sir. But um, it, as you already know, and you touched on, the game come down to the fourth quarter where you guys not able to get quality shots. Um, what do you see as a um, as a fix for that? And do you think 
the offense not being fully installed? Maybe there's something that uncovered yet that you guys can implement? Well, you know, I think it's tough not having our not having our go-to player in Kawhi with the late scratch today. You know, someone who we're very comfortable just dropping the ball into and him getting a bucket or making the right decision. Um, but after that, you know, we had a, quite a few, I think, lineups throughout the year. So we're still figuring each other out. We're trying to figure out some continuity where guys like the ball. Um, more so, I think we've seen this, this switching defenses uh, as of late. So, like I said, we're going to get back to the drawing board and figure out how to beat that, continue to work on it. But uh, just continue trusting each other, trusting the guys who who are putting the ball in their hands primarily to make the decisions. And then um, we're going to have to garner the trust of them to you know, figure out how to defeat these uh, switches and then how to get in gaps behind the defense and then get the ball hopping and uh, make people pay, you know. Especially you've seen the great teams were really good at it. Um, the Spurs are the old and Warriors in the last few years. Uh, Utah this year. So we're going to take a page out of that book. And like I said, we're just going to have to continue to be hungry, continue to be students of the game and come out here and uh, put in the work and then, you know, get the results out of it later.